Hello, my name is Olga. Today I, I will be showing you how to manually, manually review the site before you even start crawling it and analyzing it with a variety of tools such as Screaming Frog or Sidebulb. So this is the purpose of this manual review is to simply kind of get the feel of the site, maybe understand it better, to see what's really what it is really about, to kind of maybe not read but kind of skim. The, the, the content of the site so that you can have kind of have the 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 idea of of the purpose of the site and what's what the users uh, really can find on it uh, what's the purpose of those users visiting those sites what's the purpose of the person uh, of the owner of the site and and things like that in addition you can also spot some technical issues if you have a good a well-trained eye uh, it's sometimes these are the things that uh, SEO tools will not tell you. That's why I always recommend starting from a manual review. Um, uh, as an example, we'll be uh, taking my own site and I will be showing you how, how, I, how I approach um, manual review using my exa my, the example of my site. So let's start from, let's start with the homepage. So we just need to Simply see what's on the homepage, whether everything looks kind of okay, whether there are some problems, whether something is not visible, not crawlable. Uh, then I always suggest going through all of the links in the menu navigation, unless there are hundreds of links, seeing whether those links work, whether the, they point to, to real Kind of to, to to actual pages of the site, maybe they they are broken. So just going through those, uh, going through those links, checking what's there, checking whether there are, for instance, breadcrumbs, uh, things like that. Just you know the the general overview. We're not going into many technical details here. What you may also do is, for instance, you may check um, if there is an image, if this image, how this image is implemented, whether it's implemented with the use of a of an Im image tag, or maybe whether it's implemented with a CSS, using CSS, which is not a good practice for SEO. So let's inspect that image. Okay, it is implemented correctly. And uh, we can also check whether, for instance, this one image has an alt tag, this one has an alt tag, so it's okay. Mm, what else can we... We can, for instance, uh, if there are different groups of pages on a site, like category pages, uh, product pages, or in the case of, of, of a site like, like mine, there are pages, there are blog posts, there are categories you may want to take a look at each of those uh, groups of pages, examples of those pages to, to see, to see, simply see what they look like. So let's, let's take a look at blog. So here's my blog. Here are categories. Let's see the category. So this is one of the categories. Okay. I can see this is the category. I am using, for instance, uh, the, the, a lot of SEO plugins. One of the plugins I use is SEO indexability check from deep crawl and this this plugin helps me quickly see if a given page is indexable or whether it has a canonical tag pointing to a different one so if it is green like here I can see that this page is is indexable but let's see other let's see the other for instance a different uh, category let's say technical SEO what's there oh there's a my extension turned purple and here I can see that it tells me that the canonical tag points to the blog okay so this is kind of a valuable information uh, something I, I should know and something that uh, um, crawlers crawlers will also tell me okay I can see that there are breadcrumbs um, let's see uh, an example post okay so this is an example post Okay, so I see that it has links to categories, there is a publication date, there is info about the author, so so I can say immediately that this is kind of okay in, in terms of EAT quality. 
Okay, I see there are images. There is a table of contents. Okay, I may oh, I see that images are lazy loaded, so that's okay. So I can kind of simply see see this um, this example post tutorial. I can see what's behind below. Are there comments? There are comments. Are those comments moderated? They look like they are moderated. That's okay. Uh, I'm also using the another uh, plugin uh, for kind of these manual checks. This is called nofollow. And this uh, shows me uh, the nofollow links on a given page. So for instance, here it, it shows me the nofollow links. They are marked uh, in those uh, red red lines. So yeah, I, I can, this is kind of useful if you're, especially if you're auditing, manually reviewing a huge website, like an e-commerce site, then it is good information. It's good to know that. For instance, I can see here, okay, so this is a link to someone and I can see that this link is no followed. In this case, it is probably no followed or it has a UGC, uh, a real UGC. Uh, yeah, it has a no follow and a UGC tag. So this is kind of no value uh, for, for of this thing. This, this thing has no value, SEO value. Okay, mm, what else can I do? I, I can check if the site has an about page. This is usually something that the site should have, whether there is a content page, and whether those pages are indexable. Okay, they say they seem to be all right. I can I can check whether the site has, for instance, pri privacy policy, terms and conditions. Uh, these uh, pages should also be indexable. Okay, I can see that they're indexable. That's okay. I can also quickly take a look at the structure of headings. Mm, I can use a plugin called Detail SEO. I like that one. So I simply click on it and it shows me like the title, the description of this of this uh, page. And here in headings, I can see the structure of headings on my site on, on this specific web page. Okay, it looks okay. It shows me the number of links, images, uh, whether without alt, without title, schema. So I can kind of have a general idea of of this specific page of course it's not possible to view manually view all of all of the pages on the site if the site has like a hundred pages but this is yeah this is the, our manual review okay mm. let's see what else i can kind of dig uh, using this this method so for instance another thing i can do i always do is I check the site using Google Page Speed Insights. I do it during this manual review, even though I will be doing it after all as well. So let's go to Google Page Speed Insights and let's quickly see where the site is in terms of uh, Core Web Vitals, speed, performance. This is the information, the information I need before I start, start my audits to kind of put my mind into the right direction. Okay, so I can see, for instance, that okay, field data um, is passed, so I can assume that uh, the speed uh, it will not be a very huge factor here because uh, the speed for this site is uh, the core vitals are passed for the real data, field data, and this is the type of data that Google takes into account when they uh, when they are assessing the site in terms of speed. So this is not the lab data that is that counts for Google, but field data. And here we can see field data, assuming that uh, the site has enough enough traffic, then you will see the field data here. Mm, what else can I, uh, can I, can I do? Uh, so what I often do is I simply uh, use the site column uh, command and see what's in the index, more or less, how many pages are indexed. For instance, here I can see 83 results. So this is kind of looks okay. So I am, and I'm also using another, uh, a very nice uh, uh, Chrome extension that uh, that allows me to kind of display other pages, the, the, the second, the third, the fourth page on the same page by doing an infinite scroll. This is called G infinity. As far as I remember this way, I can, 
you can see all of the uh, pages that are indexed for this site. So this was this was this looks okay. I don't see anything weird here. That's look fine. What else can I do during this uh, during this uh, manual review? If I can, for instance, take a look at the site uh, using uh, a traps. Let's see. Let's see what's what I uh, what I have in Ahrefs. Let's type my site quickly here. Okay. Uh, so I I take a general look at the site, whether its organic traffic is going up or down. Uh, I take a look at the backlink profile, whether it's yeah again going up or down, whether there are like millions of links and there are just three domains or whether there is there are many domains and many links not just like hundreds of thousands or thousands of links from one single domain this is usually the indication that maybe something is not quite all right mm. what else can i do with in ahrefs using ahrefs i usually take a look at uh, top pages just just to get an idea this is something i will be doing after all as well but I always do it before I start so that I can more or less see what's what's going on here. Okay. Uh, another thing uh, I can I usually do is I check uh, whether how the site uh, behaves uh, in a um, kind of whether the site is responsive. So let's inspect and this way I can see whether the site is responsive, I can change different, uh, different at uh, different types of, um, for instance, different types of uh, mobile devices and see. Okay, let's see whether the menu works. Okay, it seems to work. So yeah, generally it is. At least at that stage, uh, it looks okay. Um, another thing I can also do. Uh, is for instance type something like uh, SEO or like type the brand name in quotation mark to see whether there are some opinions some to see what's what's going on simply okay so this is kind of okay so I am seeing something buy me a coffee okay this is this is my Okay, so I can I now I have a pretty kind of basic idea of the site. I know what it is about, what's in the menu, whether it has some no follow links on the home page and other pages, whether it has images, uses images, and what's the structure of kind of its most important pages, which in this case are of course blog pages, because these are the pages that bring me the most traffic. So I kind of see what's going on here. And once I have done that, I have and I have this feeling of this site, I can move on to the next step, which which is to crawl the site. Uh, and I always do crawling with a couple of tools, not just one, because each tool always shows you something different. And once you have those this manual review, you have those the data from those from those crawling tools and you have your SEO mind, then you can really uh, can really do a very thorough and very kind of precious analysis of the site. Okay, so I think that's that's all for the manual review. And I will see you in the next episode when I will be showing you quickly how to crawl your site using uh, Screaming Frog SEO Spider and how to interpret those those results. Okay, if you have any questions or any suggestions on how I can improve those movies, the movies or videos, just let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.